Hello and welcome to week 18 of the Country Garden Crochet Along. And this week we're making the diamond stitch to carry on the trellis-like panels around our centre. So this one really needs you to keep count, but once you get past the first three rows, it becomes much easier. So how do we make it? Okay, so we're going to start by joining into the second corner stitch. So this is on the long side, so I'm working above the tulip stitch this week. So we join in and chain one to secure it, then that same stitch make a single crochet. And now we're going to make a single crochet in each stitch across until we get to the other side. So there's nothing different in this one, it's just single crochet in every single stitch. Nice and simple for row one. And we're going to do that until, I should bring this in, we get to the other corner and your last single crochet will be in the same stitch that we started the colour work arrow panel. Okay, so that's going to be in the same stitch as there. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this row and I shall be back in a moment. Okay, so I've done that last single crochet in the same stitch as our colour work arrow and now I'm going to turn. Okay, So turn, chain one and in that first stitch make a double crochet turning chain. Okay, so row two is another nice easy row. You're just going to double crochet in every stitch. So these two rows are setting up the foundations for when we start our arrow stitches. They're made in a very similar way to the arrow stitch. It's just that instead of working into um, unused stitches, we're going to be working around posts. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this row. So you just double crochet in every single stitch and I shall see you when I get to the end of this row and in row three we'll start making our diamonds. Okay, so I finished row two and I've turned and then I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, so now we need to start making our diamonds. Okay, so next we're going to make a treble crochet. I'm going to be working in around the posts of the single crochets in row one. So, so this first stitch is where we've made our first stitch. So ignore that one and skip the next two stitches as well. So you're going to be making your treble around the fourth single crochet in row one and just work it around the post. There we go. And it'll be a nice diagonal. Okay, so back to our current row. So we've done the first stitch here. This unused stitch is where is our treble. And so we work into the next stitch. Make a single crochet. And then single crochet in the next two stitches as well. Okay, so now we need to make a front post two together. Okay, and we're going to be working back around the same single crochet that we made our last front post trebling. So, working around the same stitch, you make part of the treble. So, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, oops, leave the last two loops on your hook. Yarn over twice again. So going back to the post, oh we just made the first part of the stitch round, skip the next three single crochet and then you're going to make 
The next pass is stitch round the next single crochet after that. Okay, and again as a treble. And when you've got three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through. Okay, so we're making it in a very similar way to the arrow stitch. It's just that instead of working into an unused loops where we skip stitch, we're working around the post instead. Okay, so there's our last stitch. That's the stitch our treble sits in front of. So in the stitch after that, we make a single crochet and then single crochet in the next two stitches as well. And two. So you're always going to have three single crochet between each of your treble stitches. And then we repeat across the row. So yarn over twice. We're going to work around the same post that we finished our last uh, treble stitch. And we're going to make the first part of a treble. Leaving the last two loops on your hook, yarn over twice again, skip the next three single crochet and then make the second part around the next post. When you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and then repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I shall come back to you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've got to the end of the row and I finished on a full um, treble two together. There's no half stitch at the end. So though we started the row with a half stitch, we don't finish the row with one. Okay, so you'll get this stitch at the end. And then in the last three stitches, I made a single crochet. So once we've done that, we can turn and we'll begin the next row. So the next row is a double crochet row. So we turn, we chain one, and we're going to make your double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. Let's put my stitch marker in there. And this row is simply double crochet in every single stitch. So it's a repeat of row two. Okay, and you're just going to double crochet in every stitch across. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I shall see you when we get back to the end. Okay, so I finished my row double crochet and I've turned and now I'm going to chain one and make a single crochet in the first stitch. Just grab my stitch marker. Okay, so now I'm going to double uh, single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay, so three single crochets to start that row. Now we're going to make the top half of our diamonds. So wrap around your hook twice for a treble crochet. And we're going to be working around the treble post here. Okay, so get your hook around that post. And we're going to make the first part of our treble. Leave the last two loops on your hook. Wrap around twice again. And we're going to go through both the posts for this treble two together. So you go around both sets and make the second part of the stitch. When you've got three loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that is your diamond completed. Okay, so, so that on you stitch there is the where our diamond is in front of. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. Two and three. So now we're going to make the top of our next diamond. So yarn over twice, 
and the same post that we worked around a second ago, we're going to work around again. So this is done in the same way as before, it's just like you're going around two posts rather than one. And yarn over again and go through the next two posts and finish that stitch. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we're going to finish the diamonds all the way across. Okay, there's the front of our treble two together. There's single crochet in the next three stitches. I'm going to repeat that all the way across. So after the three single crochet, I'm going to make another treble two together, going around both the posts that we just finished in. Make the first part of your stitch, leave two loops on your hook, yarn over twice, move over to the next two posts, get your hook beneath those, and just work around it. And then pull through the last three stitches. We'll get those lovely diamonds working up. I'm going to go ahead and finish this row, and I shall come back to you at the end. So I've completed my last treble two together and I've done the three uh, single crochet afterwards and that leaves me with two stitches left. So for our next stitch we're going to make uh, a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice and go around that last set of posts and we're just going to make a treble. and then single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, and that's row, where are we, five? One, two, three, four, yes, row five. Easy to lose track a bit with this. Okay, so the rest of this piece is a repeat of rows two to five. Okay, there are 10 rows in total so you're going to have two sets of these diamonds, so we've got one more set to make. And then row 10 will be a double crochet row. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this panel, and I shall come back to you once I've finished row 10. Okay, so I've finished row 10, and I've woven in all my ends. You can see we end on a double crochet row, and you've got two full sets of diamond rows. This beautiful, beautiful pattern. So that's it for this week. And I shall see you next week for week 19. Bye for now.